Hi, this is Jake Jacobs again in PreSonus Forums with a hopefully helpful uh, how-to video on initial setup of the Studio Live and uh, checking the firmware and uh, it's just a good start while you're trying to problem shoot everything. Here's a good start to make sure that everything is up to date. Uh, so, without further ado, first make sure that everything is off. Your computer is off and right here I've got mine is a Mac Mini computer. Make sure that's off. Make sure your Personas 1602 or whatever board is off. And you're going to go back here. I appear if this, or I'm, I apologize if this is very rudimentary to some, but it never hurts to check. You made my mind. Okay, you're going to want to plug in the Firewire with everything off. And that's going to travel right around here. You're going to plug it into the computer. And again, this is with everything off. Okay, next you're going to want to turn on your computer, just your computer, and make sure that it is connected to the web. Now, you're going to want to turn on the 1602 after it's all fired up and ready to go. So turn on your 1602. Okay, while that's firing up, if you look over here on the computer screen, you should see universal control then just pop on. Okay, now I'm going to open up the universal control window, which is right here. Now what you're going to want to do first is make sure that the firmware is up to date. And that's the firmware in your Studio Live board. Now that that is connected to the computer, which is also connected to the net, you're going to go into Settings, and you're going to scroll down here to Check Firmware. Mine is already up to date, which is good. That's good. It just it went through the internet connection and made sure that the firmware in my 1602 is up to date. If it wasn't, it would guide you through um, how to make sure that they're connected. Now, next, sample rate. Uh, try to make sure that that's 44.1, not 48. Uh, Studio Live internal normal. Now, uh, for universal control, the latest one as of today, which is uh, uh, July 25th, 2012 it's a uh, universal control version 1.6 so I'm gonna go right down here to the 1.6 for the Mac I believe if you're using a Windows computer and you're using Windows 7 um, please uh, uh, Jason or monolith correct me if I'm wrong but I believe you want to go to the legacy if you're on Windows 7 so since I'm on OS X, I'm going to download this. I clicked on that. Uh, it's opening with the disk image mounter. Okay. Now, I see that it's over here. So I'm going to click on the package. Guide it through the steps necessary. 33.6, so I'm going to go ahead and install it in its default location. All right, fantastic. Now it's showing that the installation was successful. So I'm going to restart this. Clicking on restart. Now when you do that, it will almost always say uh, the application universal control canceled the restart. That's fine. That's fine. Then just go back up here to your Apple up in the up way in the corner and go to restart. And you just have to do it manually. Now, while it's restarting, you're going to want to shut down the Studio Live here and just wait for your computer to reboot. Okay, now that the computer is rebooted fully, I'm going to turn the 1602 back on, making sure they're still connected. And now if we look back over here, you'll see 
universal control is fine uh, driver version 4.0.0.14255 and then under that 5244 that means that now we're running the appropriate uh, universal control again as of July 25th 2012 so the 1602 firmware and the Studio Live are now both up to date. But now I see up here again, I have to go back up here, make sure you check that sample rate and make sure it's on 44.1. And I'm just gonna go up here, check the firmware again. Good, that's all connected. Okay, so now the 1602 is fine. The Studio Live, the U universal control uh, driver is up to date. Now, we're going to move on to the SL remote. The, the current one here is uh, version 1.3, but if you don't have 1.3 or if another one comes out, make sure you install that. And I'm going to connect to the Studio Live. If I see a gray screen here, like now I'm seeing everything is right as it should be so I'm able to control this from the board and from the computer but if you see a gray screen here that means either this version is outdated or uh, the universal control driver is outdated or the firmware on the 1602 is outdated so make sure that all three are up to date and I believe I just showed you how to do that I hope that helps some people